how to configure SSH custom using our premium server. What you need to do is this. You're going to open your SSH custom application. You come here, you click on add a profile. Yes, you click add to profile, something like that. You are clicking to add a profile. So you can name this profile anything. Okay. Then you are going to put our port. This is the port here. As you can already see, this is port 88. You are going to use it here. The username. This is the username. You are going to copy. This is the username. Then the password. Cyber1. You are going to copy. And paste it here. Then the ratio. I'm going to allow that. Then the DMS. Then for the payload. We are going to the payload i still need to copy it but let us see for the ip address because we have not inputted it this is the ip we copy we input the ip address here where you see ssh host the ip address there then for the payload this is where to input the payload you click there then let's just save this profile for now let's say save and then you get your payload i will get my payload from a already created profile that I did so this is my demo I'm going to copy it and then go back to Mr. Ken to edit it I will bring now here to paste the the payload here that I've already pasted and that is all about the configuration so all you need to do is input these details there that is all so that is all now let us save it I need to save and then I'll connect I'm going to paste it so as you can see I don't have the data bundle but I'm going now to connect the file. This is the file I've seen here. So let us connect it and see. So let us try. And see. So it's normally supposed to connect well without any problem. So you're seeing. We have successfully configured it. And you see it is connected. And you can see my internet now is passing well. If I go here to WhatsApp, you see that messages will start entering. So that is it. As you guys can see, everything is working very well.